right. Time for a smoky shot. Oh, oh we should have done a, a smoky bourbon for this. Oh, we have one. Well, we'll just pretend. Yeah, yeah. this is this is uh, one of those. So uh, smoky. It'll just be it'll think, just be bergamot I think smoky. I think it's mesquite smoke. Ah, just Wait. like a campfire. It's just bergamot smoke. All right. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so, uh, you guys, there's now smoke billowing in from the door that's leading out to the hallway, not the trap door. Stop, uh, drop, and roll, baby. We're not on fire yet. Uh, what, Save that line. What do you guys want to do? Um, I want to go down the trap door because I don't want to get burned. Wait, it's coming out of the trap door? No, 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 it's out, coming of the out of the other door. Yeah. I thought there was nothing out that door. Um, there wasn't, okay, but then you guys the barricaded thing, guys. it and here's then something the tried to come through here's the trap the thing, door. Here's the guys. So the back door is smoking, which means everybody's waiting for us to go out the trap door. Mm -hmm. Let's send the barrels down there and see if hopefully it crashes stuff before we take that leap. Let's do Let's it. Let's make them flaming mm -hmm. barrels. Wait, but we don't then have we want to catch fire to the one that, you like, in both flint directions? Steel? You, what do you do? I Wait, remember but what if you we catch me. fire to something down there, but then this stuff's on fire, so we're, we've trapped ourselves in That's their fire. idea. They wanted to start a fire. Let's play their own game. Let's throw I, their own flaming barrels and let's poop in those barrels. Let's throw flaming barrels of that. poop down that hole. But, I mean, we can set them on fire if you really I want don't to. have time to poop. You're right. <laughs> but let's let's throw something down that let's, hole. Okay, and let's if it's on fire, all the better. Uh, all right, play so you guys uh, grab some of the uh, just random fabric that's in the corner, throw it in the barrels, start them on fire. Plus, they're all like splintered up from all the uh, Wait, action they got anyway? last combat. Yeah. We started on fire? I mean, we may as did, well. are we not? Okay, okay. Yeah, all we right. can start all them right, on fire. Alright, quick chance to okay, vote. So, you guys uh, <laughs> light them on fire and just push them down uh, the hole. And they crash down, and there's a big fire that's now built up below the hole. Uh, as the barrels have now uh, all fallen on top of each other and are on fire. Yep. What's happening now? Um, are there now goblins? the door, the door and the barrel that's holding the door shut are on fire, and then there's a fire down below the trap door. <laughs> okay. Here's Just what, kidding. That was a terrible. Idea. Here guys, is what I want to do. Like, is ha what is the span move. of the fire that is down below? Um. I'd say it's probably like, you know, a five, a little bit over a five foot square as they've all crashed down. I mean... Would it be worth us to try to like, to put the ladder down and kind of try to jump over the fire because I feel like that's our last kind of exit A ladder point. or a grappling hook that we can swing out. Yeah. You guys can definitely put down the ladder and jump out of the way. Let's, the ladder might start on fire. Let's put the ladder but... down and jump out of the way. That's what I want to do. I want to put the ladder down and jump right, out of the way of the fire. I don't feel like we're in as much of a rush. I, like, I really feel like, aside from a few random corners in this room... The door is on fire! We're in a stone room. Like, the door, we took the barrels that are in the room... Does anybody have water it. on them? I, I mean, I could pee. You but, guys did have a water skin, but... <laughs> <laughs> like, I said, like I said, I could pee, but here's the thing. We're in a stone room. I don't feel like we're in immediate danger. Like, yes... Like, the door will burn through and something might come through, but think about it. Our room is not burning. Our only concern is, how quickly is this door going to burn? Like, like, let's not panic. Come on, uh, The door uh, gets hit with something and it shivers. Well, which means that whatever's on the other side of the door, the fire there is not as bad as... Then come up with a better idea. I I'm saying that, that whatever's on the other side of the door is no worse than where we are because the people who set that fire are not burning themselves and they're right on the well, other side we, of that door. Yeah, but if we heard something at the door, then wouldn't we go down the trap? I mean, even if they're on both sides, they're hurting if us they're down on that both trap. sides, they're hurting us. Yeah, but we just heard something at the door. So we know there's something at the door. So no matter where we go, we, outnumber them. we are going to run into something. So I feel like the safest bet is to go down the trap door and like jump over the fire. I completely disagree. Once we are down, our only option, if we are outnumbered, is to jump back in that river. 
We've been and down there. And that's fine. And we I, don't need I to am rush okay in. with jumping into the river again. If it comes to getting burned... I feel like let's just fight whatever's on the other side of that door and then go down the hole. The only thing that's on fire is a door, not our room. The door. Literally. All a that door. Stuff our room, room is stone. We're fire. safe. Our room, this is a stone Let's confirm that tower. The game master. Is the room Can I do a check real quick to see if this the tower room, is The room flammable? is stone. You guys is are in a basement. Is this room flammable? No. No, so the barrels and the stuff would start fire around the door that you didn't kick down and start a fire down below. Are we safe? Um, do I have to roll to see if we're safe? No, you guys room? would be safe from the fire in the room. Okay. Yes. Okay. If we're safe from the fire in the room, then... Sorry. I'm okay with staying in the room, but I also just don't like if I don't know how easy it's going to be to put these fires out. Uh, you guys so hear uh, like, trash chunk. in both directions with the fire? Like chunk. that's not going to be good. Bergamot starts singing chunk. again. Inspire and courage. On the third hit, you guys see the head of a familiar battle axe come through the door. Bergamot <laughs> is singing Inspire back Courage out. right now. All right, so everyone gets a plus one. Uh. The axe comes down again. Chunk. Chunk. Are you guys are you guys in position here that you want to I be in? I am aimed at that door. I am in Is a this goblin to say, Here's Johnny! I am no, probably here's, here's Bramblin. Here's, here's, here's Bobby! I am readying Bergamot is readying his move. He is ready to spend his entire action as a full on charge through the splintering firing door in hopes of taking even one point of fire damage with him as a preemptive attack you on do realize you're oh, wearing wooden armor yeah, oh, yes wait, that's wait, no, that's actually catch on the fire, 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 that, fire. fire. that actually that maybe that was the my furry fawn wearing yes. wooden armor know, and a bedroll that is All where right. that 1% guaranteed comes from i bergamot knows as he's charging through that door he is taking at least one point even if it's on his own fur he is taking All right. some fire All right, with you're him. You're gonna have to get naked. You have to prepare so to get already naked, naked really quickly. If well, I'm that's naked with if some you wood. Catch on fire. All right, so Bergamot, I'm gonna say that this will be a, a tough challenge for you. A tough? No, a tough challenge, which means DC 10 for you to break through, and then we'll you have. You said it was splintering, and an axe already no, 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 went that's through what, it. Yeah, so it's only a 10. You only have to roll above a 10 to make it through. And then afterwards, you're going to have to do a reflex save to see if you start on fire. All right. All right, so... So I have to roll a 10. Mm -hmm. Nothing else helps. Give me a heroic action versus a 10. Does heroic action have any modifiers? Yeah, it would be your strength. What's your strength bonus? Not my... All right. No, you're not going to charisma your way through the door. 20! Oh! All, All right. right. Oh, my God. <laughs> it doesn't matter what happens, right. does it? Um, I, I'm going to skip on the reflex roll on that. So basically, you guys, Bergamot is telling you guys what all he's going to do. And you guys are like, don't do that. You're going to start on fire. He's like, no, I'm going to do it. And like the whole time, there's an axe. And then just Bergamot just That's jumps. That's my axe. Just jumps chest first and breaks through the door. <laughs> And it's in slow like motion. A, like and a pro chest bump? With all the bad <laughs> like stuff. It's HD slow motion though, right? Like super slow motion. Like for sparks. them, yes. Because for all the bad things that have happened to them and all the planning and all the talk, now, finally, in all of you his glory, Bergamot busts through the door. And I'm just going to say, you fly through and you just like belly bump the goblin in the face. <laughs> and Just knock him over. No, belly bump. Because you're up high. You're up high and he's low. Like, and you bust through your chest and you're like, boom, belly bump. Oh. And he goes down on the ground. And then we're going to say combat starts. And uh, sadly, uh, Zeba Dobbler has, uh, has the first roll, but oh, yeah, he is starting out prone, which means he loses his dex bonus. I wanted one point of fire damage to go to him. To go to him? I said it before I rolled that. I thought it was to you. No, I said yeah, I, I want to carry one point of fire damage. Sorry, with a 20, you <laughs> blow up that door and it's like, it's not a fire anymore. It's like fireworks and sparklers. Do you splinters go into any of the goblins? Like, 
nearby. That's what I meant, that if there was anything on him flammable, that that one point of fire damage would have... He's wearing your scale mill armor. I'm trying not to burn Shazbot. it. Shazbot! Okay. <laughs> All right. Are so, you rolling initiative? I think no, no, you guys, we're going with your, your guys' initiative from last time. Oh, I can't recall, but I'll go with it. All right. Um, so first up is Zyla and then it's Bergamot. That's why we're just rolling with it. So uh, Zyla, what do you do? You see this bus through, You're a you see a goblin down the ground, and then Bergamot land behind him on top of <gasps> the other dead goblin. Flank him. All right, so I'm going to go up to the goblin. So is the goblin distracted by Bergamot? And He's I was, prone. He's I was prone. singing the whole time, right? Right. Okay. Oh, good. Are you so going does that mean the I can doorway? sneak attack? No, just run up. Yeah, you can run up and, and attack, and, and I'd say that it's a sneak attack because he's on the ground, he's distracted, he got belly bumped, like all the bad things that, that can happen to you on a goblin. And I am gonna shoot it with my short bow. Right. No, shoot him or something? No, no, you have to do your melee weapon. Oh, I do have yeah. to do my new melee yeah. weapon. And you want to do it with your melee weapon because you have more of a chance of doing a critical hit with it or his butthole. Oh yeah, that's we right. We haven't had one of those in I a while. I just only get a plus one with my melee weapon or a plus two with his singing. Okay. All right. I'm going to attack it with my short sword. Okay. And that's a five, or and then a six, and then don't hit. Five, six, no, not even with him prone. Yep. You run forward and you slip on some burning wood and totally mess with your sword of Xandra. Mm -hmm. All right, Bergamot, you are behind him. What do you do? Um... Can I uh, take an action? Uh, I have the advantage because I'm behind him. He's flanked, yes. Can I just snatch my battle axe right from him? I'd have to say that'd be a heroic action versus his dex, but yeah, you could try. Because what I want to do is take it and then either it, instead of using my move action, I want to focus all of, and this would make it a total heroic action, what I want to do is, instead of using any of my move action for running, I want to use it for basically grabbing the axe and then using a foot to kick him with my move. So I want to focus my move action on kicking him to better enable me to snatch the battle axe. Does that work? Right, yeah. or is that so roll heroic action to see if you get his... Get the axe. So how is the fire right now? It the, It's burst open. The door was broken apart. Okay, it so was just the no door? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it a and what do I add so to heroic? Strength or dex? Um, well, I don't really have... Um, yeah, you don't have either. Neither. So it's just what it is, 13. 13? Uh, and he has a 13, but you'll win out on a tie, so you yank yank the uh, the axe from him, and then you kick him. Um, the only problem is Zyla is right behind him, so he would just slide right up to Zyla's feet. All right, but Zyla, you, it's on you. you have his axe. Oh, um, so next up is him, and he uh, pulls out a sword that he had at his belt and slices at Ada's ankles. Ada or Z Zyla? Zyla. Zyla. Sorry, yeah. Zyla. And it's like, I'm not even in this mess yet. <laughs> and Mrs. Ada, it is your turn. Uh, oh, goodness. I forgot to take down. You know, we're at um, f uh, three now. But you're still singing, right? You're right. Still right, singing. Um, um, can I hit him from that spot yep. right Yeah, there? you can hit him even from behind Zyla. Uh, okay, but does that put her in range of fire or no? No, okay. no. All right, I'm gonna shoot wild magic at him. So, thirteen. Thirteen, that hits. Oh, awesome. Four. Four points of damage. All right. Um. So he is still on the ground, but your blast hits him in the leg, um, burning a hole in his leg and singeing the bottom of Bergamot's uh, scale mail a little bit. Sorry, man. Which smells worse? You should uh, try to hard to tell. Can I do a bardic check on that to see which 
Smells worse, my was, burning fur or his burning skin? No, it's not your fur, it's, it was the scale mail that he's wearing of yours. Alright, I mean, so Xyla, you're up next. Um, oh, can't let me do it. Because we're, yeah. Okay. So he's still flanked. He's, okay, but he's at my feet. Yeah, and he did not stand. Yeah. So he's prone, so he doesn't get his dex I'm just going to try to take my sword and be like, ah. Alright, roll attack. <laughs> it where? Oh, uh, where his toenail. Ten. Ten. Uh, uh, it it hits the scale mail and your sword uh, bounces off. Uh, Bergamot, it is your turn. You now have your battle axe in your hand. By the way, do you have a name for your battle axe or anything? Or not yet. I figure like this like. I mean, this is the kind of thing that doesn't come up in in play. Like, I have six seconds to come up with a name for it. It's not going to happen. No, I just wondered if you did have a name for it. Okay, so I certainly so did not. you have your battle axe, you have your sword, or I you have your I never even crossbow. realized that I wanted it so much, except that I realized all of these things... Here's the thing. As like, you were dying? No, here's the real thing. That, like, like Bergamot has never had a chance to, like, maybe voice this. This is, like, Bergamot's inner voice. Like, you know, like he came from a prestigious family, and he doesn't like giving up things that are worth value. And, like, all of his armor and weapons and stuff were all sort of through family money. And, it you know, it sucks in reality because it's like, wow, what a trivial thing. But, you know, like, that's all he knew. And he's learning a lot of lessons right now, by the way. Sidebar. But, like... So he never even thought to, like, name a weapon because, like, that's, you know, it was like, whatever, you don't name money. But now, when he realizes, maybe, these sorts of things are worth taking for granted. Or not taking for granted, or, yeah, however, like, anyway. Um, so instead of taking, how are you going to give the damage? Well, I feel like... Uh, the battle axe is back. It just feels so good, and this is really what it's been all about. So it really doesn't even matter. Like you know, at this point, there's nothing to lose. Battle axe is in my hand. That's that's uh, that's what I'm going for. Because he's right there. Yeah. Like like I almost wish that I had a springboard to bounce on. Like I'm doing a slam dunk with this battle axe. Instead of doing a side to side, I just, just wish that Wait, there was like... can we do like, like a, a thing where we're like, yes, jump into I, your hands! Well, <laughs> no, I can't you guys aren't because, near him, so... No, I can't because my minor trick couldn't even make a springboard strong enough. I could make a springboard strong enough for like maybe about a pound or so, but not enough for me to spring me up in the air. So I'm just pretending like I'm Air Bud and and it's just because I missed this battle axe so much. And I missed. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a three? Yep. All right, so... Uh, After all that... We, the bard is... Story The bard thing. is singing. He's, he's singing, giving you guys courage. And he's singing about song his about axe. Lost And about how there, there may not be a name for the axe, but it's an important axe. And all this time, and he swings down and misses the prone goblin. And hits... A part of the burning door, and you just hear Bergamot go, "Burr," and then it's the goblin's turn. The goblin pops up and swings his long sword at Bergamot, and the goblin actually is singing a little bit on his own too. <gasps> what, is, um, what does he sing? Uh, you you do not understand him. I can roll a bardic knowledge. And what's your AC? You don't speak. Sixteen. Sixteen. Or 15? Uh, 15. 15? Yep. Uh, the other way around. And the long sword hits you. And does one point of damage. Alright. Alright, Adelaide. I'm gonna shoot wild magic at him. 16. 16. Um, he is no longer prone. So, uh, oh, but it's touch. Yeah. That hits. Six points of damage. Six damage. Dang. Um, That's what Zala said. Dang. Dang. Uh, your prismatic bolt hits him in the arm and singes back his flesh. 
and he shouts uh, and bares his teeth towards Bergamot. Why did it just slop off his arm? No, Xyla, it's your turn. Mm. All right. He is badly damaged. He is not facing towards you. I am getting him with my sword. All right. Are you? I'm getting him. I'm, I'm going to use my baby, my lucky All baby. Right. All right, you use your tiny die. Does it even go through that? Nope, it wasn't very lucky this time. But if you roll <laughs> three, three, <laughs> no, yeah. you, you. When we go to Gen Con, you need all new dice. <laughs> I'm just saying, I've never seen someone have worse dice. You have just been like. I'm not sure if Silas is. Hey, this one normally rolls really bad. And it gave me please a twenty. Please, could please someone go back through all the stuff and see if Zyla has hit one thing. How does she hit one thing? Have she did get one. I, on one of her metal dice, she all right. did get one. So all the way back around to Bergamot, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm swinging again. Uh, I'm still singing. Um, uh, yeah, I have nothing else to do. Come on. All right. Roll that D20. 18. Doesn't matter. That hits. Roll damage. Oh, I don't even remember what my battle axe does. Battle axe, I think, does 1D8. D8 plus 1. Oh, you haven't rolled this yet in ages. No, you rolled it with your crossbow. Yeah, you rolled it with your crossbow. It's okay. You said that last time you rolled it five minutes ago. That was like another round. <laughs> Are you drinking? All right. Five, six. Six? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, you cleave right above his shoulder blades into his neck, and he nice. goes down. And he's no longer moving. Oh, Yeah. Action's over. You better strip them. Yeah. All right, I haven't moved yet, so my obvious move and action is, oh, it's it's a little bit it's a little bit greasy and dirty. I'm scraping up teeth from three goblins and some scale mail from the one right in front of me. All right. Uh, can I do a check to see if there's anything else on mine that I'm missing? Oh yeah, you're missing all the stuff that's I in mean, your that's, backpacks. I mean, that's in front of me. Oh no, no, you've got. He had your battle axe and your armor. But that's okay, it. but I don't see my tooth necklace. So at the very least, I'm getting teeth from three Grambombolins and my scale mail back. Yep. All right. Oh, we didn't pour we shots. Didn't. <laughs> all right. It's getting late in the night. Oh, we started not knowing what's happening. I know. May I have some more, please? <laughs> Tiny, tiny bit. That's good. Holy cow! Where does where did the bottle go? I know. I've I've heard uh, some of our followers mention that they should track our progress, uh, not by each not by each episode, but Jeez. by watching how much right. the bottle drops over oh, the course wow. of several episodes. Oh wow! Yeah. You come over to well, All right. Hey, I got a fruit fly in mine. To you Protein, guys. No, that is plus one for everything. <laughs> Here, give it to me, I'll do it. It's like, you uh, eat it. No, you eat it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, I'm just gonna plug it in a red <laughs> spot. <laughs> like, protein. Right. Oh, gross. I would do it. That'd be a plus one. All right. All right, so Come what on. are you guys doing? Um. Well, I just wanted to point so out, by the way, that, hey. How's that fire down there in that trap door? Hey, uh, I just want to say, uh, my, my 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 friends, my travel mates. Sorry, I'm still breathing off of some very uh, spicy liquid. I just happened to swallow. <laughs> I just want to say thank you all for uh, giving me a moment and giving me the uh, benefit of the doubt to think that uh, maybe we should fight what was on the other side of that door because I just got a bunch of my stuff back. It makes me feel a lot more complete. And that was the whole point of coming into here, and that was pretty epic. What all you, you need is your horn, right? No, it wasn't about epic, baby. It was about, like, we're coming in here, like, not only to get my stuff, we're coming in here because we're on a mission. Let's not forget, we are coming in here. These Grand Bombolins are some bad mamma jammas. They have been stealing crops, they've been stealing barrels, they've been stealing stuff. Mm -hmm. We are here not to get my stuff back. We are here to talk and deal with these horrible little nasties. And let's deal with them. Come on, let's, let's... I would like to know where they're coming from, like the ones that are coming back around. I, obviously, there's some probably waiting down at the trap door, but, like, obviously there's some coming through the door, so either it's coming from the stairs or maybe... Well, I want to know how our fire's doing at the trap door. The fire down below out? the trap door is starting to burn down, and the, the, 
room that is opposite of this one, actually, here I'll, Bergamot will move over. There's actually the hole from up above yeah, goes down through. Yeah, but the spider through, so. goblins can crawl out mm -hmm. of that. Yeah. So is that so where they're coming from? You would assume so, yes. Yeah. All right, so do you guys want to go over there maybe? Or at least that ca that way we have like, we have stairs that we can use. We know. No, there's not stairs down there. Uh, you guys no, look at like the ladder. No, like stairs back up. We have no, the No, that, that, that hole drops down into the creek. Yeah, but we no, can the, stand at the hole, the hole and then over here look We right have the there. ladder though. Like, if we needed to, we can go up that hole. Or, I mean, up that, um, the staircase, or this way. We have proven to have the upper hand. We have eliminated at least three of the unknown goblin bomblerins from down below. So, let's continue um, with this pace. I want to open up the trap door. That is a great and idea. And I want to put the ladder... Wait, we've already put the ladder back down, haven't we? No, you didn't. Okay, I want to put the ladder back down and kind of... Well, open let's, it up, see what happens, and if it's yeah. um, clear, then... And let's have Bergamot just move <coughs> just enough to where he can see um, this room and fire a bolt to anything that comes up. Like, you know what I mean? Like, let's Where have somebody play in middle ground. Are these goblins coming up from yeah. the hole and then coming up that way? Yes. Yeah, they're coming from the hole and going Yeah, so oh, where they're coming from the outside, just, maybe. Uh, just just for, for documentation, by the way, uh, Bergamot did steal teeth from these three goblins because he felt, not, you know, he was really naked, by the way, from being naked, but he also, he, he got some new teeth. Okay, so I open up the trap door and see what's going on down there. All right. Um, I'm going to be kind of in the doorway so I can either hear Bergamot yell or that hear Xyla That is fantastic. Yell. We are working as a team. So um, the, the fire down below from the barrels is like just down to embers, um, and you don't hear or see anything down below. Okay. Per usual. I do think that if I blew my horn, even though, obviously, you know, that's calling doom towards us, at this point, we have the upper hand. We now have both entrances to this floor completely guarded. Like, if I blew the horn, they're only going to come into Do a trap. Do you still want your horn back? Yes, absolutely. So is that why we're here? Well, everything of mine was our real re No, the real reason we're in this tower, if you don't recall, was because we were hired... Back no, I do end. recall that. I'm just saying, like, you want your horn back, and we suspect that it's in this tower, right? Oh, absolutely. So we should probably... If there's one thing I want, it's my horn. We should probably try to venture out of this room and, like, try to find your horn. And I, and I like having the advantage, but I feel I'm like we should I'm just thinking the more people we can kill... Get out of this ...without having room. to be in their territory. We know this territory. We know, like, what's the worst... Okay, what's the worst that can happen if we blew the horn and summoned them this way? All the goblins from all around and all the towers. They can't. We're they... inside. We're two floors underground. Okay, I want to go down. I want to go. I want to put the ladder on the trap door and kind of like. Could my get bardic down knowledge confirm whether or not uh, our horn, that horn that I stole from the goblins, it could my? Is there any knowledge check that I could do that confirmed that this horn is not audible to other towers? No, I mean, you're underground, it's probably not, you know, I mean, you don't know what's happening up above, but you guys came during the day when, they, when they're when they asleep. I would say so that most really likely know. if there was anything if else that was going to come, it's going to wake them up. I mean, if there was anything else that was going to come, that loud ruckus that that one goblin did, like, earlier, probably already drew all the people that were going to come and attack us. So I would the fire like, that we threw down the hole. Yeah, I would like to go down the trap door and inspect, finally go down there and inspect and see what we can find down there. Like maybe see if we can find your horn. Like you haven't heard your I would horn like on to, any. No, before I before we go before we go down the trap door, can we at least peer into the hole in the side room and just make sure that we don't see more filing up? Yeah. Okay, let's go peer into the hole. Sure. Uh, Bergamot can go, and even without a check, uh, there there doesn't seem to be any more noises coming up from there besides the creek, okay. like the sound of okay, the, so the creek coming through. 
Alright, so. So I put the ladder on the trap door and I'm, I'm making my way right down. behind her. I'm Where going to follow you, Zyla. I am very happy that y'all trusted me on this last venture, so I am going to go along with your idea. And, uh, hey, Mike, can you move him towards the trap door? Mm hmm. Thanks. All right, so you guys are going to let down the ladder and go down? Yep. Well, first, open, yep. right? And we've already we've opened already it. done that. Oh, uh, yeah, do I mean, and we've already checked, and we don't see anything. So we've checked in both the hole by Bergamot and the hole here. Yeah. But, I don't know, like, I, I feel what, like if... What if we did just one more little attention grabbing thing? Just well, I feel like if there. a goblin had your armor and stuff, like, most likely a goblin is probably carrying your horn, even though it's maybe not so, blowing it. So, Zyla, okay. you peeking down, once again, you see the same thing that you did before, um, the hey. passageways, and there's nothing down there. Hey, you know what I just realized? I don't know why I didn't realize this before. There is another way out from this underground level. Like, yeah, we're three levels underground at this point. Like, this technically, I've been writing it down, this technically is three levels underground. Mm -hmm. But there obviously is another way out besides the creek because when they we, would have a hard time when up we the set the alarm down, they didn't come up our trap. They came out another way, which means we're not going to spend the time to find that other... Probably we where, to. wherever the most foot traffic is, is probably the way they come in and out. Should we do an awareness check again, or do we just already know? Well, I mean, we so, so the, the hole that they climbed up was from the creek area, which underground here, there is yeah. space. So they climbed up the ceiling and out to you guys mm -hmm. and around. Yeah. All right, so... Sweet. So that hole on the level that you're on goes down to the creek and out. Then so there's a ladder that goes down out. to this place. Zyla, let's let's plan on this. Like, as we go down that ladder, immediately hop up on either of these two ledges. Just for remember how it's just a little bit more of a protection. Like, like whoever goes down that ladder, hop right up there in your same action. You know, if you can, because then like. I mean, but we're. Just until we're all we're three down. Like, it's halfway on but the level, Remember, right? they had the advantage on us. Like, it, it at least, like, why were they on that ledge? Because it's an advantage. Yeah, but people aren't going to be coming from under. I mean, I'm, I'm just, just trying to say, until we're all three on the same above. floor. Okay. I mean, I, I just want to go all the way down. If you want to get on the second level and use your crossbow... That's no. cool, and you can like take, you can do cover for if you see something coming for me. Like you we can know provide cover. That there is at least one very fast moving gorgolug on this floor. We also know that there is at least three fast moving spider. So goblins. you're right. We haven't come across the gorgolug. Yeah. So we'll what? Like, why don't I throw something else loud <laughs> down the I'm ladder, scared. and then like I can. If I, if Let's be on safe lug. spots. All right, so we'll, so we'll just fast forward this because you guys are spending so yes, much time on this. Yeah. You guys are throwing stuff Ever. down, nothing comes out. You guys okay. throw, you make noises. I'm down noises, on the ground you... and I am heading, I am down on the ground and what, so up goes towards the stinky spot. No, no, that's no, no. to the right, to the east is the, the stinky area, to the stinky left is the kitchen. There. To the right up is where you guys haven't gone. I'm going to go right? towards the stinky area because that yeah. seems really weird. I'm going to go towards the stinky area. Because slowly. So are all of you guys... I'm going, I'm going as well. Are you guys... Slow. I just want to move. All down? Yep. I'm going towards the stinky area. Whoever wants to follow me. We're all down, me. but can we move slowly? All right, so are you just walking in there? Are Let's you do some checks. In there? I am you... sneaking in there. All right, so roll thievery. Can we do an awareness check as yeah, well? Yeah, let's do some checks. Uh, as soon as, as soon 21. as... 21. Oh yeah, you sneak right in and peer around the corner there. When you peer around the corner, um, you see a large... It's one, the whole room there is filled with uh, refuse. I mean, just okay, food so this... scraps and everything. And then there's a like a three foot long rat 
on top, just chewing away at stuff with like bony protru protrusions sticking out in all directions. Do I like recognize that any of the refuge might be like from refuse. the refuse? Might <laughs> might be from like the cattle or some stuff that's been like stolen. No, I mean it's trash. It's trash it's and poo trash. Okay. and gross stuff. Is the and rat gonna a, attack us? The rat hasn't noticed because Zyla is very. Okay, I don't know if it's worth going in that area unless we think the rat might be hoarding no, stuff. No, that was a really good it's check. Probably. So I'm gonna come back and say, hey guys, there's nothing but a giant rat down this Just way. Just do it with hand signals. And I Let's go am north. gonna suggest that we. All right, everyone, roll an awareness check. Sixteen. Fifteen, sixteen. Four. Four. Alright, so everyone but Ada uh, hears a noise coming from the kitchen area that sounds like something scooching along the ground. That's what okay. I was thinking, is that the gorgolug is probably that All right, way. Alright, so you guys got... Uh, That's probably there. 30 the seconds to decide All right, what you Bergamot want to runs All towards right. the door and closes it because gorgolugs can't open doors. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's the fastest action you have done. Did you want to? No, that's you wanna, did that you is literally the fastest action you have ever done. Good job. Yeah, I gotta give you props for that too, man. Because um, I was just gonna so, try to shoot so it. Got, so Bergamot runs over, closes the door, puts his back up against it, and he's like, <sighs> Which way does that door open, by the way? Um, Towards you, so you can hold it shut. Okay. Um, but then you guys hear the you guys hear something, and steam I knew it. comes through As the crest of the door. <laughs> All right, remember we can escape by the creek. Um, but this is a racing snail. Remember. All right, so everyone, fun. roll initiative now. I just gave us an extra round, y'all. Oh, that one is mine. Is that one? Yeah, that's mine. But you're welcome. All right, Bergamot, what'd you roll? I got a 17. 17? Ada. 17. 17. Xyla. 4. 16. 4. Plus 1. All right. Yeah, I don't get that. So, Ada, you are up first. Uh, Bergamot's there back against the door, but you see steam coming from it. Um, what do you want to do? Blast magic in through the door, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so there's the two ledges behind you, the creek, the ladder, the uh, passageway north and east. I feel like I might just have to stand at the ready, maybe go up on the ledge, possibly just so I can just start shooting magic. All right, I so you want to run up to the ledge? You can easily climb up without yeah. even a check. Yeah, I'll move up to. Um, All right, so Zyla, I'm move up to the far ledge. Ada moves to a ledge. You closest be, to the creek. The closest to the creek. All right, uh, Bergamot, what do you want to do? Um, sing, baby, sing. No, well, yeah, I'm singing. Thank you. Uh, I'm singing. Um, All right, so one action is you start to sing. You're singing, "Oh my, there's a slug behind this door." And then. Get up uh, that door. That's a good one! Man. You can be a bard! She's not multi-classing yet. Um, I'm actually, uh, like, as I'm running t to get up on this ledge, I'm actually, I have this sort of, like, ridiculous nowhere thought in my head that is, like, I just ran away from the door and I'm trying to find Dory and I get up on the ledge with that ridiculous thought that gets me nowhere. All right, and you are up on the ledge. But I'm singing. Next, Xyla, you're the last one. What do you want to do? I join him on the ledge. All right, uh, north or south? Um, I don't know, I'll get up on that one. Which, uh, north or south? On the south edge. Is that, is the one? I, I can't one see south? where you point. Yeah, okay, okay. right there. All right, cool. No, it's north that is up. That's the south that, edge. The map is north going this That's way. That's the south edge of the okay. ledge. That's the way you've been describing. Okay. The right. south edge of the ledge. All right, and the gorgolug busts through the door. Wait, but you can you can now, shoot, Zyla. Well, the door would be closed. 
Yeah. Um, when it was still her turn. Um, it comes in and then immediately uh, spits acid. Uh, Wait, up. what's its spit range? I know. I can, I We're looking know. at what 25 feet ranges? here. 25 feet? No, it moved in, so it's only uh, no. 15 feet. Uh, what's your AC, Zyla? 15 and... Yeah, 15. 15? 15. All right, so the Wait, acid what's... hits the ground uh, at your feet. What's its range? Ooh. Huh? What's its range? You just said that. The range is... Didn't hear. Uh, feet? It's 15. 15 feet. 25. Oh, yeah, totally. I was wondering if, like, the... Uh, and I know, mm -hmm. like, Bergamot kept misinterpreting right. the height of these ledges before. So, but I know it's uh, 6 feet now. Ada, what do you want to do? I'm going to shoot wild magic at the Gorgolug. Alright. Which, by the way, guys, it is still showing signs of the damage it suffered a couple days ago from you. So close. Does it recognize me? Uh, you can't tell. Fifteen? Fifteen? Um, oh, it's the ranged touch? Yep. That hits. By the way, it faltered on the twenty and it was like, dee 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 dee. So, I almost had to twenty. Such is life. Um, he sung recently, right? So that's going to be six points of damage. All right, uh, you blast him in what is maybe his, uh... Mouth butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Not everything is a butthole, Zyla. <laughs> it, uh, it probably looks like a butthole, It hits it though. in its chest and it spatters <laughs> glue, uh, glue, goo all over the... The ground next to him. Bergamot, it is your turn. All right. Um, so I can do Bardic Knowledge. Um, is that my action? I haven't done it in a while. I'm sorry. You, doing, you can do a knowledge check yet. Yeah, no, it's a free action. Just um, run with it. Uh, I'm I, sorry. I had this idea that I want, like, uh, I'm looking for... You should fascinate it. Oh, you're right. Uh, that was the other card in my hand. Um, I mean, sorry, I didn't even hear you say that. I don't have an elder god whispering in my ear. Yeah, uh, I'm. Um, uh, but I can't fascinate and attack at the same time. Correct. But um, if you fascinate it, I can attack it. Yep. Uh, well, but I'm already. I'm standing right next to you. Oh, no, but we're not flanking it, um, but, uh, yeah, I guess that, um, yeah, I could fascinate it, um, uh, sorry, it doesn't say on my card, fascinating, do they lose a turn? Yes, if, if you fascinate them, then they, they lose a turn. Okay, then, um, I will use my action to, uh, fascinate... Uh, the Gorgolug while well, still um, okay. Can I fascinate and then do a Bardic Knowledge check? Um, because I'm not doing Bardic any... Knowledge was first. What do you want to know Bardic Knowledge? You, you uh, that well, times. I just realized that a Bardic Knowledge can uh, do um, whether they know information about legendary items. I want to look for my horn. And oh, I'm on no, the... that's not what it's. Knowledge would be like if you see an item and you're like, what is this item? It's not like it's where it's legendary. It? It's my thing. Okay. Yeah, but it doesn't tell you where it's at. It's it's knowledge. It's like information about an item. So you want to fascinate uh, the creature. So it is a heroic action versus the target's will save. So the Gorgolug's will save is. Uh, it doesn't doesn't matter. Well, it depends. I could roll one. No, I rolled a 16. All right, that's my turn. Can I fascinate and then shoot if I failed on the fascinate? No, nope. fascinating is part of that. So you start singing at the Gorgolug, and it is not falling you for it. You left me. Yeah, it is not love you anymore. falling for it this time. Uh, Zyla, it is your turn. Shooting it with my short bow. All right. Um, 20. 20? That hits. Alright. So roll damage. Oh, 
Nice. Seven points of damage. Yes. Max damage. All right. Um. Just because you like to, where does your arrow hit? <laughs> <laughs> right through its mouth that looks like a butthole, and I'm like, oh no. And I'm like, oh. All right. So you shoot. And then right. I, it goes butthole to butthole. I mean. No, it, your your arrow is not that powerful that it flies through an All eight right. foot creature. Mouth hole out the back. Uh, I, it just your arrow just disappears into its little <laughs> puckered mouth. Let's say that he's gonna get a bad ulcer. All right, and uh, with that, uh, the D gorgolug scoots away through the kitchen and disappears. Wait. Is it not able to scoot as easily because it has a, like a like a really straight thing inside of it now? So it's like you can't like you can't tell. You just it's see only it moving from the bottom now. Leave through, leaving a trail of <laughs> sploosh behind. Do you guys want to go after that? I mean, he, it sounds like he's pretty close to death. Let's chase him. All right, let's yeah. chase him. Might as well get rid of anything down here that could attack us, and then we can search for his horn. All right, so, uh, so you guys chase after him. Um, if I keep singing on the chase, does that I'm continue? I'm like unable to move your player. I don't know why. Can you move him to where that he can see this slug? This gorgeous slug. Okay, there we go. All right. Wait, is so, he going towards the poop? The refuse? No, he is not. Okay. How do you not know where it's Oh, yeah, stuff? you are so lost. We've been I, on this uh, wait, floor like The refuse times. is down right. that way, right? Okay, we're going right. north. Okay. So you guys We've are been chasing. in this cave before. This guys, is the room. I died like you guys a are lot of times after. in this cave, right. Ada. <laughs> I know. Trust me. I don't me. remember half of it. Trust me. I, I can. Let me refresh you. <laughs> Right here is this doorway. This exact doorway is where I drug you out of. And then you died again. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. So you guys are chasing after the Gorglug. First He's up hurting. is, oh, shots. Yes. Yeah. First up is shots. Look, I'm right into. Yeah. Yeah. Bam. You guys yeah, are actually yeah. making some progress. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm excited about it. <laughs> okay. It's a rarity. All right. So first up, Ada, uh, what do you do? I, um, huh. can I move up enough to see, like, not completely enter the room, but try to make sure that there's not a lot of other things in the room? Yeah, you can move right up to there. And I don't Quietly. really see anything? I mean, that was... Actually... Uh, Three quarters of your movement. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. Go uh, but here. no, there's nothing else in the room. I'm gonna shoot wild magic at it. All right. Yes. I'm still singing, correct? Seventeen. Sure. Seventeen. Um. Yeah, that's right. What I will say. I'm it sorry. Is. I didn't mean to yes. um, pigeonhole you into that. Um, we free moved. Okay. Chasing the gorgolug. Does oh, no, my fine. singing continue? Yeah. 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 Okay. Four I mean, you can keep singing. Damage. But I would just like to say, uh, with that question, Anton, uh, or Bergman, I'm sorry, we just generally assume that if you're not singing, you're probably saying something, so you're always performing in yeah, some I way. Mean, of course I am. Let's this be real. Is, this is probably Bergamot's tattoo. If right. you're not if you're not gagged, you're probably I'm doing something. Through, like, All right. Actually, so, it's an infinity uh, sign to say that I never shut up. Ada, you hit. You hit. Four points of damage. Four points of damage. I actually move, need to move that closer to me. <laughs> Keep it there. I'll be the timekeeper. All right. Next up is Bergamot. A fire at it. All right. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, your bolt hits its shell and bounces off. Um. Can I run? Um. Is there any? Um. Uh, Ada, do you have any bonus if we flank it? Hmm? Nope. Um, I still wanna... I get... No, I'll, I'll stay exactly where I, I am. Yep, I'm 
and stay exactly where I am. So okay. So is it still running away? It's moving away from you guys, okay. yes. Okay, if I run up on it, is it a sneak attack? Or is um, it, I mean, it knows we're chasing it at this point, so... Okay. You, you could run up on its side, and then you and Ada would be flanking it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, flank it. Flank but it, flank it, flank it. attack it? Um, yes. All right. So I and I'm it. still singing, so we and all I'm still have bonuses. To, all right. I'm gonna attack it with my short sword. That's 13. 13? Uh, your short sword bounces oh, off its shell. I knew it should have done that. Shoot. All right. Um, and then, uh, next is the Gorgolug's turn, and it actually curls up uh, like a roly-poly bug. Ooh, so that things. way, just the shell is showing. Um, let's roll. What do you it call somewhere. its shell? Huh? What would you call its shell? Shell. I mean, it's like its armor plating. Let's roll it into Car the river. Carap roll it into the river. What's the word? Carap <laughs> carapace. Carapace. Thank That's you. an no, insect. No, no. Like an insect carapace is like the outside of like an ant's shell. Oh, like an like this skeleton. is like a thick. Ooh. Like. Like, yeah. it's like a little rock. Now that it's all curled up in itself, like, I'm saying it's like, you know, when roly-poly bugs come in and they're locked in, except this thing has, like, rock oh, shell around I it. I love it. So all can right. we light some, uh, can we light some of this refuse on fire and then just put it no, on top of it? No, that's not refuse, that's rock. <laughs> that's rock? Yes, we're yeah, not rock. in, in this room. <laughs> I know, but do we see anything that can, like, catch on fire here? No. No, it's all okay. rock. Can we roll this thing to the river? You and have a grappling it? hook and a yes. thing. You I hook your hook in it and run top speed with it and drag I, it behind you. I want to roll it. I mean, it's How large, but two of you guys. I Zyla, wanna, I wanna Zyla, roll it. Zyla. I, who wants to help me roll it into the river? Drag it to the cooking fire. Drag well, the, it to the cooking fire. The cooking fire is all out. Yeah. That was I, only, think, okay. I think we should roll it into the river. I think that's a fun plan. All right, he's rolled up. Okay, yes. here's what you do. No, here's what we do. If you want to help me, you can help me, but this is what I'm doing. I am rolling it, and you can help me. So I'm rolling it towards the river. All right. Uh, it's actually easier than you guys think. And you guys just roll it right out to the river. And bloop, it goes in and then just floats away. <laughs> so let's search for your let's let's search everywhere to see if we can find your horn if they've like stashed it somewhere. All right, are there other? All right, so I am moving you guys back down. Yeah, we back to go to the down. room by the river. <laughs> now let's go north. No, yeah, up. yeah, it's the yeah. only way to go. Yeah. Yep. Well, I don't think there's other rooms in that room we were just in. Wasn't there, didn't, wasn't there air, like passageways that led from that room? We know. There is a passageway that leads from that big room over to the northern hallway that you guys you can see right this now. right there, that's the connector. Okay, well then let's go down the main, down the main hallway. Right, I'm going to follow you. Okay, now I see where they connect. Oops, I don't know why. Alright, so hallway, as you guys move down, I'm moving you guys back a little bit. Um. You guys see oh. another doorway that's yeah, we, a dingy cloth. We need um, to do some checks. And light radiates out from it. Yeah, can we check? Can I? I usually have a mirror. All right, immediate bardic yeah, knowledge a, check. Okay. Uh, 19 plus uh, 21, because I get a plus 2. 21. What what are you what are you looking for? Uh, this room looks like it might have like uh, like it, there's a cloth hanging in front of it. So I'm like, oh, like this looks like it might remind me like. No, it's bardic knowledge. Once again, is more like knowledge of the world, not of. Yeah, I'm so staring I thought at maybe a dingy the cloth, cloth was like torn off someone's like cloak or something. Like I thought, mm -hmm. like no, because a cloth is nothing like. Bear is it with a me. solid cloth? No, it's like a, it's like a, like is a it like shower curtain that someone used to hide well, a, a I didn't know that. I was doing okay. a check to see if maybe it was someone's cloak, like torn off an adventurer. No, no. Can I was I, trying to do good. Can no, no, I no. barely, can I barely, like, 
barely like touch it to like see if I can see something. You know how you would look out a window and just barely move the curtain if you didn't sure. want to see roll, somebody on the other side to see you. Roll it. a thievery check and an awareness <laughs> check. Okay, thievery is nineteen. All right, so you're very quiet, moving it to the side. And now your awareness. Okay. I'm just playing with it. Um, yeah. four. Four. <laughs> All right. Um. Luckily, there's nothing really beyond the cloth that is uh, hidden. Uh, so the large room beyond is filled with grimy straw mats and things that may serve as chairs for the small goblins. Um, besides that, uh, it seems empty except for a door to the north. All right. I want to... Can I check to see if that door's unlocked? You want to tell... Tell them oh, yeah. what you're gonna um, see. So there's nothing in the room. It looks like this is a goblin hangout den. This is where they have all their meetings, maybe. I don't know. This is where <laughs> the they goblin, have. the goblin office meeting room. <laughs> or, or this Conference is the room. or this is the goblin like um, Wait, rec room. The, this is the goblin rec room. Is that the men's room? <laughs> <laughs> like it stinks in there. Hey guys, I see another door. Like I think maybe we should follow that other door. What do you think? That one would probably be easier than the big main scary door. It might lead in like a back way instead of going front and center. So let's. Um, can we do awareness checks on it? Sure. Do we all need to? 20. Yeah. Oh, you guys roll. Oh, that's we don't okay. need to, do we? I rolled a 20 with my modifiers. 20, and you guys are checking out the door or the room? The door. The door? Well, I mean, I mean I guess. for me, I'm too far away. Yeah. I can only check out the door, right? <clears throat> are you, uh, you guys can all move in. Uh, so actually, the door is not locked. No, you know what? I'm checking uh, just... Oh, is just up to the left is the connector to the other room that we were just in. Yeah. All right, never mind. I'm out of this one. I'm trusting okay. you all. Um, I can't get myself in front of that door for some reason. All right, so, so that, uh, the, the door doesn't seem locked. Uh, now, Xyla is the only one that can check for yeah, I do the big I traps. Check for traps. All right, give me a roll. Right. Add your thievery. Uh, 18. You're pretty sure it's not locked. Wait, or trapped? Or trapped, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, yeah. Guys. I was like, I, just, I already knew it wasn't locked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, yeah, she's doubly pretty sure it's not locked, and she's also pretty Here, sure it's not trapped. I, I want to, like, I, I just want to, like, barely open the door to see if I can, like, kind of get, like, an eye line in there just to, like, kind of peek in there to see. So, this door that you open up, <clears throat> it's actually, there's no light in that room. There are no torches or anything. Who wants to send a light in there? Uh, wait, don't you have uh, night vision? I do, but I think there needs to be at least a little bit of light. Well, there's a light in the room you're in. Let me know. Like, okay. let me know, because I can cast a light, but well, I mean, it would, I, you're I, supposed to have night vision. I feel like maybe if we She sent, has dark vision, but what I'm saying is there's no torches in this yeah, room. Yeah, I feel like if we sent a light in there ahead of us so we could see what we're walking in And she's just in peeking on, in. All right, I can, be a good idea. I can focus a ghost light on you. Do you want it on you, or do you want it to I want it in to front go, of you? I want it to go into the room without me. How far ahead? Um, into the center of the room. How many squares? Uh, I don't know because I can't see how big the room is. Okay, you tell me based off the room you're in. Um, a square is five feet. So I'm going to say want... do it. Do it ten feet in. So two squares from sure, the door. Do it two from the door. In. All right. So yeah. Okay, two squares from the door. So the uh, wait, but I can project multiple. Could I project enough lights to sort of swirl sure, within yeah, the room? Yeah, your your lights go into the room. Can they? Um, like... And you guys see. Uh, there are racks, like makeshift rough racks of rusty weapons, like weapons that it looks like even goblins wouldn't use. But are there's, we seeing the whole room? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's very s small. So okay. there's um, not a door beyond that? Um, here, I'll move you in so you guys can see. Um, there's barrels holding batches of goblin arrows, and there's also a chest at the far end I that's check it. closed. Check traps. Open All right. That. 
open that mother. Um, I'm not in the room. Can I yell at them, or should I run in the room to test if those goblin arrows have any poison on them? Um, I mean, you got you can check. It's not like the the arrows are firing at them, so you could check. No, later I mean on. if I want those arrows, but I'm not in the room. So what I'm trying to figure out is. <laughs> Can I check to see if those goblin arrows have poison, or should I yell at one of them to check to see? That's, I mean, once again, you guys are not in combat, so you guys can do whatever yeah. you okay, want. Okay, I jog in there, like, you know, I'm like just jogging. I'm like actually just trying to keep my heart rate up. And I just want to jog in there. I want to, uh, what do I have to roll to see if those uh, arrows benefit me with some poison? Uh, just roll a knowledge check. 11 plus... Two? Yeah, so these oh, can't wait plus three. <laughs> these can't be used in your in your crossbow, but uh, there's plenty of arrows in here. They're goblin. But are they makes, poisonous? So not, they don't look poisonous. Okay. I mean they they're barely That's all arrows, I to know. but they're goblin arrows. Um can I take twenty? Can you do that in your game? No, we don't have take twenty. Oh, okay. Okay, but well, I wanna try time, to open this chest. So you wanna search it first and then yeah. Okay, so roll roll a D recheck. 17. Uh, 17. Uh, it is trapped. Okay, I want to try to disarm it. Disable it. Alright, another thievery check. <sighs> 13. 13. Um, what's your AC again? 15. Oh. Uh, a little needle sticks out, and you pull your hand back just in time, and it doesn't catch you. Um, hey, um. So I want to open it. All right. Um, so after that, oh, give me one more thievery hand. check to make sure that you can undo the lock. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, it pops open. All right, what do I find? All right, so uh, the chest opens up, and uh, inside, uh, wrapped in a uh, oilskin cloth, is a, it's like a silvery blade. It's, uh, there's a long dagger, which is a dagger, but just a little bit longer than most daggers, and a long sword. And now... Uh, Bergamot, if you can roll me a bardic knowledge check, because this is the perfect time to use the bardic knowledge when there's these two amazing weapons in a goblin uh, layer. 16 plus 218. That's pretty satisfying. Right. So these two blades uh, age back hundreds of thousands of years. Uh, these blades are made of amarnium, which is a special metal that mainly the elves use. Um, they were crafted way back in what you believe during the wars of the elves versus the Eldar. So uh, when I say old, like these things are old, but they are beautiful. They are undulled. They are super sharp. They're well taken care of. You think that maybe the goblins found them hidden here in the tower and they've just been storing them away. Mm -hmm. Because this... Would you guys mind if I took the dagger thing? Uh, I mean, and if it doesn't work for me, like, I could possibly... I have no problem with anything so long as off. I have weapons. So you also well, know... just take both of them. You also yeah, know yeah. I, I, I from the roll... I can't sword, though, so... Okay, um, you also know from the roll that a marnium does not affect spell casting in any way like steel or iron does, so... Does it... Is a marnium... Is okay for me, so yes. it's okay for elves. Yeah, yeah. So does not affect spell casting, like... Yes, like so... I could carry it? Yes. Like, you could use it's either of metal. these weapons. It's... It's metal, but it's like... It's like Mithril. It's like... Yes. Yeah. It's like one of those in-between. It's like things. Mithril, but without the copyright infringement. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You put that magical word in my mouth. Um, Do you so, have a hand 
So I'm, I don't, the only thing I, I immediately wrote down two blades yeah. plus. Uh, so two elven Amarnium blades, a long sword and a dagger. I would and love any, to take one of those because I could use those. Being so a, long as we user. just all have them right now. Can I don't. I, I don't need it. Carry the dagger. Just so long as somebody has it, let's not leave it. And um, oh, right, so you should write it down. Yeah. And how many uh, arrows were there? Hundreds. Hundreds of arrows. What's the arrows. max amount that I can grab? Uh, I'd say, Which like, to carry comfortably, no, I like, short bow. Uh, 40. 40 is yep. the max number I can carry? Yeah. All right, thank you. What kind of damage does this dagger do? Um, for you, uh, it would be, uh, the dagger does uh, 1d4 damage. What about the blade? Uh, the long sword uh, does. Excuse me, I'm looking it up because I have such a bad memory. And I would just get a plus one for my attack bonus if I used it, right? Since but a, there is a zero spell casting. There is. There's no. Uh, I would say that uh, Ada doesn't have the identify spell, but she can tell that there's something special about these blades because of the way they were forged. Uh, a longsword does 1d8 damage. That's pretty dang good. <laughs> pretty dang good. I'll tell yeah. you what, I like that George sword. It's going to make me like pretty is there dang any powerful. Bonus or anything also, like that? there's one other thing stuffed in the back corner of this room is Bergamot's backpack. So all of Bergamot's other equipment, which he quickly digs through, and his horn is not in there, but everything else is in there. So you have everything but your horn. Ooh, what so did you close. say? Your horn is everything? You still don't have it. Mm. All right, so there's no other entrances or anything in this room? Not in this I room. say that we should head on down the north hallway then. Yeah. Got fancier equipment, <laughs> even though it doesn't do such damage. Oh my god! It would be so cool if this dagger did something special as we got close to um, evil things. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you define you evil? Right. You're right. That, that would yeah. be cool. <laughs> I'll bet some would say that you're it's evil. <laughs> like, does it glow when we get close to I'll bet it like, has or like, or like, like, like a backfire. Like, it's like if a weapon could fart, it'd be like... <laughs> Alright, so you guys move forward. Okay, doorway to the right, doorway to the left. I'm no, sorry. there's actually, actually those are just cubby holes. <laughs> um, all that is ahead of you here, uh, there's the pathway down the hallway to the left that opens up into the bigger room where you guys originally fought the Gorgolug. So the only place you guys haven't been is through the door ahead. I want to check it for traps. Um, all right. Fifteen. You're pretty sure there are no traps. Okay. Is it locked? Uh, no. How, which way does it open? Does it open in or towards us? Uh, it opens in. Okay. Um. Wait, are we, uh, are we are actioning yet? Or are we, like, I don't know, checking? like, I've just checked it, yeah, to, and it's, and I'm pretty sure there's no traps, but I haven't done anything else. Are I'm, you telling us? I'm telling you, yes, I just told you. I checked it, and I'm pretty sure there's no traps. Okay. What do you guys want to do? Do you want to just walk through it? Open here's it a, slowly. Here's, um, maybe, like, we're at an unknown, and we've been at very few of these, but, okay, let's... Let's reassess. We got a moment right here, and we won't have this moment again. We're each doing pretty decent right now with health, right? We're yep. okay. Yep. We're okay, right? Yep. Okay, here's here's kind of this crazy random thing that I'm thinking on doing. And it might amount to be nothing, but I'm trying to think of new ways to do things. I want to take, like, um, my ghost light. Yeah, I know. Old trick. But I want to make, like, what if 
I made like a little thing that was about the size of a rat or something like that, but it was glowing. And instead of using all four points of the light, it was like one object was glowing with the light. And obviously it's not gonna like change anybody's mind, but it's gonna be just a little bit brighter. So it's this one like, item. I feel like that we should just open it quietly of... and try to do a sneak attack. Because if we get a sneak attack, if there's something in there, then well, we don't know we what's in there. Benefits. I guess what I was thinking is we should if at least try open, to open the door. If we we're open gonna have door, to open the door to send the ghost lights in, anyways, right? That's, mm -hmm. Yeah. The door so is shut. We may okay. as well open the door, and if we feel like you know, if nothing happens, send the ghost light in. If we see people, let's sneak in. Well. I think that's where I was going like, with that I'm idea better, is... We're better off like me trying to spider crawl around or something. I'm not sure. Like well, Where I was trying to go with that is because my ghost light... I'm sorry if it's a bad idea from the get-go. I was trying to describe it. Uh, if it has a hundred foot range, what I was thinking is no matter what... If there's even only one thing behind the door, what if I made it think that this thing got through the door and ran a hundred feet that so way? So it was distracted yes. by the ghost light. And All right, then let's it try to do that. Just let's start with getting the door. Well, let's open the door. Let's open the door. Open the door. So idea. I open the door. Do we see right. anything? Well, I open the door slowly. Slowly. 